All right, so we're on day number, uh, day number um, 10, and mustard greens are doing great. I just uh, took a little cutting out of there, and alfalfa is doing really, really good. Everything seems to have germinated at about the same time, which shows that this technique of saturating layer of uh, burlap and then putting the screen mesh uh, fiberglass screen on top of that and then another layer on top of the of this of that well basically sandwiching in the um, the, the, the seeds so we're going to do that again with these two trays these two trays did great um, we've got two more trays one with um, with fennel and and the other one with cumin seeds is it cumin seeds Nope, dill. Um, so we have dill and fennel, and we got a little green coming, and it looks like they're pretty much germinating at the same rate. There's a little, a couple dry spots like there, uh, where this tray is elevated, and and uh, the seeds aren't really getting wet. Although you can see it gets wet all the way into this corner. So we have good saturation, slower to germinate. Uh, same story here with the dill, slower to germinate, but uh, if you take a look underneath. This first layer, you can see some germination starting to happen. Pull it away a little bit. Ever so slight, just a little bitty nub coming out of this dill. And then putting this rock on top keeps the, the, the that uh, fiberglass sandwiched tightly on top of there to make sure that the seeds get uh, even moisture. So that's it. We're doing uh, we're doing great with microgreens, and um, did some transplanting to make room for more. And we're gonna do the same with this row. Start with um, with ten trays here, and continue the exercise with different uh, different seeds. But the the important thing is that we're doing this without any or any dirt medium, and we're not worried about this about the. Uh, and, we, and we're not matting the seed, the roots up underneath the, um, the microgreens, which is great. And that's, that's happening because basically what we have are, you can see that, we have roots growing underneath the tray. And into the rock medium below, which, uh, which has some worms down under there and also has, um, uh, free access for the roots to go as deep as they like and so when this comes up uh, there be there will be no dirt to contend with of course uh, but the uh, but the fiberglass that's below the seeds will keep the uh, uh, will, will keep the the tops separated from the roots and still allow us to remove the roots from the from the uh, rock bed when we pull this up so everything's going great and uh, we are going to try a few different seeds and uh, we'll be checking back shortly.